Hi guys, welcome back once again to my channel Ride with Zetex Tuner. So all of you might be knowing that I am a long term owner of the Ninja 300. Apart from the Zetex Tuner, I have a Ninja 300 for almost 9 years and I have done almost 77,000 kilometers with my Ninja 300. So the, the Ninja 300 has some pretty tough competitors throughout the world and the KTM RC390 is one such competitor. Of course my brother owns a KTM RC390 and I have ridden the 390 extensively. So I know in and out how the Ninja 300 is different from the KTM. But there is one more tough competitor for the Ninja 300 which I have not uh, ridden so far. That is here, the Yamaha R3. So this Yamaha R3 belongs to a friend of mine. So due to some uh, unforeseeable circumstances, he has uh, parked his motorcycle in my home for a week. So the owner of this motorcycle is a friend of mine for almost uh, four years. but. Uh, so far, I have not uh, tried my hands on the Yamaha R3. So today, I am going to ride this R3 and look whether there is uh, any difference between the Ninja 300 and the R3. So let's get straight into the ride. So this is the first time I am riding a Yamaha R3 and my first impressions after sitting over the saddle of the R3 is if I don't look at the dashboard I would not recognize it on R3 the seating position and the position of the handlebars are very much similar to the Ninja 300 the handlebars are uh, well risen and the seating position is uh, pretty upright seating position uh, when compared to the smaller sibling the Yamaha R15 so Yamaha has uh, kept in mind the Ninja 300 while uh, making this uh, motorcycle because uh, the Yamaha R15 has a much uh, front leaning uh, seating position the handlebars are pretty low and uh, it has a more uh, sports bike uh, seating position whereas the R3 uh, is a mix between uh, a sporting motorcycle and a touring motorcycle so the seating position I have to say if I haven't uh, looked at the dashboard or the motorcycle I won't recognize whether uh, this is a Ninja 300 or a R3 and uh, the power figures, if you look at the power figures, this motorcycle produces uh, 42 horsepower and uh, 29.6 Newton meters of uh, torque, whereas the Ninja 300 produces 39 horsepower and uh, 27 uh, Newton meters of uh, torque. Uh, so, at this uh, level, 3 horsepower will make a huge difference in a 150 or 200cc motorcycle. But for uh, motorcycles like the Ninja 300 and R3, 3 horsepower and uh, 2.6 Newton meters of uh, torque won't uh, make a huge difference. So, looking at the power figures, I have to say I don't feel uh, a lot different. So, even in this department, both the Ninja 300 and the R3 are uh, pretty similar. And uh, I think the R3 might be having a better uh, top speed because of the 20cc advantage in the engine capacity. And just like the Ninja 300, the R3 feels pretty comfortable around the 80 to 100 km per hour uh, range. So I have been riding this R3 for almost 2 or 3 minutes and one uh, difference which I could uh, find out is the exhaust note of the R3. The Ninja 300 is a parallel twin whereas the R3 is a normal twin cylinder engine and I feel the Ninja 300 
sounds uh, better. Uh, maybe because uh, because I won a Ninja 300, the Ninja 300's uh, exhaust note may seem uh, better for me. But this is my personal opinion. And looking at the dashboard, one uh, difference is the R3 has a gear shift indicator. The Ninja 300 uh, doesn't have one. The R3 came pretty late and the market and it was updated with the latest features and uh, one such thing is uh, the gear shift indicator in the R3 and the uh, Ninja 300 has a bigger tachometer and the speedometer uh, clock and the trip meters are in uh, digital form and uh, the R3 has balanced uh, the tachometer and the other things the tachometer is analog and uh, the instrument cluster, the rest of the instrument cluster is in uh, digital. In uh, Ninja 300, the digital cluster is uh, very small, whereas in the R3, it is uh, somewhat bigger, I have to say. And one advantage of this R3 is this R3 has a better ground clearance than uh, the Ninja 300. Of course, the today's Ninja 300s have 145 millimeters of uh, ground clearance, but whereas my 2014 300 has just 135 millimeter, very low. I have to say the ground clearance of my Ninja 300 is, is very low, whereas the R3 has a better ground clearance. I don't exactly remember the ground clearance of the R3, but I know it is much better than the Ninja 300, and uh, I don't have to worry about the speed bumps on road as much as I worry with the Ninja 300 and the handling of the motorcycle is also much similar to the Ninja 300 the motorcycle is equipped with the Michelin Pilot Street Radial tires the tires are uh, excellent ones And I have to say this motorcycle is uh, pretty old. The motorcycle has done around uh, 43,742 kilometers as of now. And uh, I think this is a 2017 or 18 R3. I don't exactly remember the year. But uh, this R3 is a uh, pretty old motorcycle. And my good friend has been uh, maintaining it very well, I have to say. So I just uh, redlined the Yamaha R3 at uh, gear 2 and the power delivery is uh, very much linear and I could feel a lot of power under my uh, wrists with the R3 but uh, speaking of the vibration part I have to say I felt some vibrations underneath my seat once the RPM uh, was around uh, 11,000 and uh, one more thing, there is a white light given on this dashboard here, which blinks uh, once the RPM reaches pretty high. There is no such provision in the Ninja 300. Of course, in the ZSNR, the tachometer blinks once uh, it reaches a preset level, level of RPM. But on the vibration part, I have to say the Ninja 300 is somewhat better, somewhat uh, smooth the Ninja 300 is when compared to the R3 and one more thing which uh, surprised me is at gear 2 uh, once this motorcycle reached 89 km per hour uh, the ECU has uh, cut off the power to the engine and uh, the speed uh, started reducing automatically so practically the top speed of the R3 at gear 2 is 89 km per hour whereas in my Ninja 300 it is uh, 94 km per hour so now I have the doubt whether uh, the top speed of the R3 is uh, more than that of the Ninja 300 uh, or not I don't know about the gearing 
in the remaining uh, four gears of the Yamaha R3. But uh, to test that, I need to ride this motorcycle on a highway, which is not possible uh, today. So my initial impressions with the Yamaha R3 after uh, riding, having the Ninja 300 for uh, almost uh, nine years is, I have to say both the motorcycles are uh, pretty similar, very much similar. Everything uh, from the handling of the motorcycle to the seating position, the power, almost everything felt uh, similar uh, in these motorcycles. Uh, very few differences are there, of course it should be there. Other than that, I have to say the R3 and the Ninja 300 are uh, one and the same. So that's it for today guys. Thanks for watching. See you all once again in another video.